Salaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at gestures on our S10e, S10 and S10 Plus. We have the normal gestures that are built into One UI, but with the help of One Hand Operations Plus, that's one of the modules within Goodlock, and I did that video for you guys before, that gives us the ability of actually interacting with our UI from the sides, initiating gestures in an advanced mode. So today we're going to talk about basic and advanced mode gestures on our S10, S10e, and S10 Plus. Let's check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we push out new videos regarding the S10e, S10 or S10 Plus or any other flagship on the market. Bookmark is a free website builder service that offers you the opportunity to have a website built from zero to 100% in about two minutes by just answering seven simple questions. They utilize AI and they call it IDA. And this service actually is pretty cool. By just answering those seven questions, it gets you from zero to a full website ready for you to customize to your liking. You can even open up an online store. So what I have in front of us is two versions of the S10, the S10e and the S10 Plus. The one thing you want to keep in mind is on the S10e, I have the navigation bar showing. So the recents, the home, the back, all of those functionalities are normal. And this is for the most part how you get it directly out of the box. What we have here on the right side essentially is the same gesture. So you have home here. If I swipe home, let's go ahead and do this. If I swipe down from the middle, I get the exact same gesture. And if I go back here, swipe down on the left, I take back. If I swipe down from the right, I get the recents application. And then I'm able to get into my recents. Very similar to the way I would have done it here. This is the standard interface out of the box. Now to be able to go from this interface to this interface, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go into your notification panel and look for the button that says navigation bar. Now by default, it's selected and that's why you have them here. And if you unselect it, meaning I just turn it off, an example would be here. I go into the right and let's go ahead and look for navigation bar. I'll click that, click that. And you notice both of these devices lost their navigation bar. I do have hints turned on on here on the S10e so you could see where the buttons are. But for the most part, this is the exact same interface as if we had the buttons. The only thing is that we're actually not pressing the buttons. We're actually just using a gesture to initiate them. So full screen gestures is what we have not built in. And I did configure my options here to be able to show that the recent need to be on the right side. I think the default out of the box recents is on the left. So depending on your preference, you can customize them and you can turn the hints on or off and you can see these little bars. And that's just to let you know where the gesture buttons are. If you don't want them, disable it. You'll just get a much better, a more full screen experience. Again, very similar to the way we have it here. I can swipe and everything kind of works great. So already this is our basic gesture functionality and we have this built into One UI. There's no additional apps that you need to install. You just turn that on and you work with it. Now where the advanced functionalities come in is where we need to be able to get into good luck. Now under good luck in the family section, there's an app called One Hand Operations Plus. I think in the past it used to be called One Handed Mode, but for the most part, it, this is basically the app that we're looking for. And we're gonna focus more on the S10 Plus since I have most of my customization set here. And then of course, as I said, for the most part, they're the exact same thing and they'll work the exact same way. It's just that obviously we have a bigger form factor with the S10 Plus. So One Hand Operations Plus is a simple application. From what it does, it provides us the ability of adding gestures on the side part of our device. And you can see these two indicators right there. So we can set the transparency, the size, the positioning, the touch width, as well as the vibration and of course the swipe distance. How long do you need to actually do the swipe for it to initiate? But one of the really cool things about it is you can actually turn them on or turn them off. You can either have both of them off or just have one or the other, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed. For me, I like to have both sides on as I like to customize them slightly differently. Now, on the left hand, for the most part, what I have is swipe in the middle takes me back. So this one just takes me back. That's the standard one. And swipe up takes me basically to the recent key. This is the standard configuration and you can get back in there. And then swipe back takes me back to home where basically the diagonal down is the back key as well. And I think for the most part, what most people do is the back down end up going taking a home. And then of course you could just go backwards. Now we do have the ability of turning on lawn swipe if you want to turn that on. On the right side, what I have is basically the go in the middle is switching application. So as you notice right there, I switch from one hand operations plus back to good luck. Swiping one more time takes me back in. And that's because I've configured it to go to the, uh, basically the going straight through is the previous app, meaning it jumps over to the previous app and you can customize it to many other things. You can go either forward, open, open quick panel, screen off, assistant app, screenshot, floating navigation buttons, uh, basically pull screen down, as well as one handed mode, task switcher if you wanna be able to jump into it. And there's options here, the back home and recent, those are the default ones. So for me, all I like to do is basically set it up and I like to be able to jump. And this is a functionality that I had back in the old days, the ability of just jumping between the two recents app. Because one of the main functionality that we lost when we had gestures is, I'll go ahead and turn this back on. 
it's the ability to be able to do this, this double tapping and jumping the last app, that is a function that we had with Android Oreo and even with Pi. But when we get into gestures, we lose these functionalities. And unfortunately, till now, we didn't have that back. And then now it just, it looks so good and it works so great. Now under advanced settings, we do have the ability of turning on animation, landscape mode, of course, support. Show notification enables us to add a persistent notification to be able to turn it on and turn it off. That's depending on your preference. I don't like to have that there. Uh, fit to keyboard, of course, height uh, in quick panel, and of course, app exceptions, where basically it disables these functionalities whenever you're in a specific app that you can customize. So you can turn it on by default, and if you disable it, it won't show up in the application. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a very simple, very easy to customize, and you can have basically all the time in it and just have fun with it. Uh, the real cool thing about it is, again, for me, I can just swipe back. I'm jumping back into it, swipe back. I can jump back into my recent applications. I can close all, go home, do everything I want, and it just makes it very easy, especially when you're using it in one hand. You can see it right there. It just jumps over. Sorry, I initiated the camera by mistake. Uh, but essentially, it's just jumping over and using it in one hand. It's, it's very, very functional and just very, very, very... One more time, easy. So overall, we have pretty much three different ways of doing navigation on our device. We have the standard mode, which enables us to just have the buttons in front of us, and you can customize which order it is. So if the reason's on the right or on the left. And of course, the next level is the ability of turning on gestures, and that just hides the buttons, and we're just swiping where those buttons normally are. And you can even add those little hints there so you know exactly where to swipe from. Uh, the third option, which I think is a really, really cool functionality, it's basically the advanced functionality using that one-hand operations plus part of GoodLock 2019. Now, if you're running an earlier version of Android, let's say Android Pi, uh, not Pi, Android Oreo, uh, there is a GoodLock 2018 that also has the same application called one-handed mode. So just keep in mind, one-handed mode and one-handed, well, and one-hand operations plus is for the most part the same functionality. And it gives us the ability of not only customizing our gestures, but also the ability of using the same functionality that we normally have when we have the buttons showing. And that's the double tap on the recents to jump on to the last active application. I think that's a big time saver, especially for a lot of people that love having that functionality when the nav bar is actually showing. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of these functionalities? And again, this should work on One UI devices as long as you're able to download GoodLock. If you can't, please make sure to check that link in the description below for the One Hand Operations Plus application. And of course, you do need to have a secondary launching application to turn it on. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much. Share this with all your friends if you think this would help them out enjoy their device even more. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.